What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome to Tokyo Ghoul Dark War. Now before we get started, I want to get two things out of the way first. Number one, I've never seen this anime before, so I'm not going to recognize any of the characters at all. Um, but if you are a fan of this anime, let me know if it's any good um, because I am looking for a new anime to watch that doesn't have like 55 seasons to go through. Um, as far as I know, this anime has two seasons now and they're working on season three. So if it's any good, let me know. And the second thing I want to share, this game is brought to you by Game Samba, um, the same exact company that brought you the Fairy Tale Online Browser MMO. So uh, that's a thing. So take that information and do with it what you will. Now let's go ahead and get started with the game itself. Um, this is a hero collector. Um, so what we'll do is we'll jump into combat first. And uh, you've seen a screen like this before. There's a normal, there's a hard mode. You wanna go from stage to stage, getting three stars at the maximum. Once you get three stars, you can open up free goodies, et cetera, et cetera. This is pretty straightforward gameplay when it comes to hero collectors. Now, let's go ahead and pick a stage. We're gonna go hard, um, stage two, two. Uh, well, it, actually, this is a really good stage to show you my biggest gripe with the game, it's a very small gripe, but it's a pretty like annoy a, a pretty big an annoyance that you'll see as you play the game. So don't know who this guy is, but he looks cool. Kisho or Ar Armia. <laughs> so this game has a fascination with destroying boxes. So right now I have to destroy all objects. So I have to go and fight these boxes first before I can like do anything else. But of course my team is gonna be working on the actual mob itself. And unfortunately I have to kind of race against my own team's power level to make sure that I kill all these boxes in time. Why am I killing boxes? <laughs> Why is this a thing? Not all stages are like this, but too many stages are like this. Where you're just running around the stage looking for boxes first, and then you go, okay, I guess we can fight the boss now. A, a pretty lame objective, I, I hope they, as this game matures and gets older, that's something that they take out completely because it's, it's not very fun at all. Um, and there's some stages where the boxes are hidden pretty pretty hardcore. I don't know if that's an anime trope. Does that, does that happen in the anime? Are there like hidden boxes everywhere? But I don't know. Here's another stage, once again, destroy all objects. Um, it's just not, oh, th this is another really good showing of this. So why am I killing these uh, traffic cones? <laughs> this, is, this makes no sense. Um, so they need to ease up on these weird objectives that make no sense and I have to go way back here to fight these and they don't just die in like one hit like I just can't punch them as you can see they have health so yeah um, big strike there but as far as the combat is concerned um, it is an action RPG style combat you can switch between characters with no cooldowns whatsoever um, so if you want to switch to someone else and use their abilities you can I just defeated the stage, did not get all the objects, so I'm not gonna get a three star because those traffic cones, those darn traffic cones needed to die and I failed. Um, but that is combat in the game. Um, let's see, is this one, okay, no death, thank you. Let's just do this one. Kill everything, no death, and a time limit. I, I can deal with that. And I'm, I'm also okay with destroying objects. It just doesn't mean, it just seems weird to be destroying boxes in the middle of like a fight with people that are trying to kill you. There's nothing in the boxes. Like there's some stages where there's things in the boxes that you have to break open to get. I get that. Um, but the stages where you're just destroying them for no reason is a little, little strange. Um, there is an auto mode, but the auto will not take you out of big red circles like that. Um, so you will take unnecessary damage when it comes to those things. Um, so you definitely want to control it where you can. Um, each character has, a, of course, a basic auto attack and then three abilities. Oh wow, I am not strong enough to defeat this. Or maybe I could have if I would have gotten out of all the red circles. And there you go. If you want to know if the game is super easy, um, it's it's hard enough where you don't you you can't rely on auto for everything. So do keep that in mind. Um, so that's combat, pretty straightforward there. Um, let's go over here to the opening screen. Um, of course, you can set up a team. You have three main characters and three supporting characters that can offer you buffs. Um, the upgrade system is pretty straightforward, exactly what you've seen in other games. As you defeat stages, you will get loot. You can use that loot to equip to your character, like these sneakers, and then you can take those sneakers and then upgrade them like crazy using in-game gold. Um, you can also refine them to get even more uh, stats out of them as well. Um, and then there's a star upgrade system that I do not have unlocked yet that opens up at level 29. Um, but then the game will also show you exactly where the shoes will drop. Um, so you can go to that stage and sweep it if you want. Let me see if, uh, Five times sweep is unlocked. Oh, look at that. 
Very interesting. So the game does have a VIP system. So I, I was curious to see if they would have locked that behind the VIP, but they didn't. Um, but we will kind of go through the VIP system towards the end of the video to see how bad it is. Um, but that's that. So that's a pretty straightforward upgrade system. You've seen this in plenty of games. Um, you can also, like I said, um, there is synergies as well. So if you have these characters on the same team together, um, doesn't matter if they're in your party or in your supporting party, um, you can also get buffs there. I'm sure this has to do with the anime in some way. I don't know. Um, here's another system here. As you get um, materials, you can use those materials to one star, two, or not one star, I'm sorry, plus one, plus two, plus three, your character. So what we're gonna do right now is make our character here become a plus one. Obviously that gives you more stats. And then, one, oh, can I do plus two too? Look at that. Oh, look at this. Increase all allies skill cooldown reduction. Very cool, there you go. Got a new ability. Now, was that an ability? Oh, that's a passive, okay. And then of course, same system that you've seen in other games before, you can upgrade your abilities using gold, but props to this game, you can do that without, uh, a, lot of, a lot of these games have these where you can only do like 10 at a time, then there's a cooldown, then you can upgrade five, then there's a cooldown. No, not in this game. As long as you have the gold and as long as you have the skill, you can upgrade it immediately. There's no, there's no point system, and there's no uh, time limited as well, so that's cool. Um, and uh, yeah, and here's the star upgrade system that lets you know what you get when you star up the character. So pretty straightforward, um, that's character. Um, here is a list of all of the heroes that are currently in the game. Like I said, don't watch the anime, don't know who any of these characters are, but it seems like a pretty solid roster for an anime that only has two seasons. So not bad, not bad there. Um, what else do we have here? I showed you equipment, I'm not gonna show you RC cell, that's not super important. Um, recycle, I actually don't know what it is, so we're gonna skip it. <laughs> um, there are, of course, daily quests that you can do to get materials and upgrades. Um, there is an AI versus AI arena, um, so I can go ahead and challenge this guy. They go off into to a fight. One neat thing about this uh, game as well is that the load times are pretty quick as well. Um, quality of life when it comes to moving through the UI is pretty good. So this is a pretty refined hero collector. Um, obviously, you're going to get more mileage out of this game if you enjoy the IP. Um, so that's kind of why I'm wondering, is, is, the, is the anime worth watching? And if it is, maybe the game gets even better um, because you can kind of relate with the characters even more. You guys know what I always say. A hero collector is only as fun as the heroes that you can collect. Um, there is your PvP AI versus AI. Um, you have 10 attempts per day. Probably get more with the VIP system, which we'll take a look at in a little bit. Um, there's also an organization, which is basically a guild system. Um, you have feats, which are achievements that you can clear over time. There is a friends list with, like I said, great quality of life features, apply to all. Oh, now my friends list application limit has reached the top. But I love quality of life features like this, as opposed to having to apply to each one, hit apply to all, request all the friends all at once. You can receive all, all at once. You can send all, all at once. So you can send stamina to people. They can send you stamina. Really great system. I love when games just make, don't, don't make me click everything. Um, other than that, there are a few top up things as well going on. Um, there's a server opening reward uh, system going on as well. Um, so since the, since the game is brand new, you have lots of different days of rewards that you can kind of get. Um, so if you're a brand new player, they're gonna be throwing all kinds of stuff at you. Um, there is an event tab, which I'll kind of go through. You have your daily events, which allow you to grind for gold, grind for experience points, and grind for whatever else these other things are that unlock at level 35, which I don't know, um, but those unlock daily. You have this right here, which is basically an endless tower mode, which you see in plenty of hero collectors before. Go up the tower, get the rewards, pretty straightforward. Don't know what training center is, we'll definitely get there. Um, there's a mysterious shop that uh, upgrades, or uh, not upgrades, refreshes once per day or so, or refreshes at this time period. Maybe it refreshes more than once, I'm not sure, uh, but you can buy things out of this shop there. And then there's a thing called the feeding ground, which is basically kind of like a, like a WoW garrison type thing. You send your characters off to go fight, they come back in four hours and they bring you stuff. Pretty straightforward. So that is what I have unlocked in the game so far. Um, all the way around, without knowing anything about the IP, I enjoy the game a little bit. Um, the characters are just really cool to look at. So the art, you know me guys, I'm a sucker for artwork. So that's, that's usually a good way to grab me into a game is having cool artwork. And I really like the persona looking vibe the game is giving me. So props to them there. Um, here's the check-in system. So if you do check in for 30 days, you will get, looks like a legendary character or something. I don't know. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> um, what else are we showing you here? Free, the very first top-up reward. Um, top up any amount and get all these goodies here. All right, 
there's a VIP shop. All right, I think we it's time for us to look at the VIP. And then there is uh, another thing, accumulate 50 diamonds from topping up, get all this stuff as well. So lots of top up stuff, lots of bonuses going on to be expected in a game that just launches. Um, so let us see if we can look at VIP privileges and see if we can see how bad it is, if it is. All right, so buy stamina, buy gold, more arena attempts, more stage resets, and some gear, not that big of a deal. Looks like this game is gonna kinda go the route of just having more resets. So this reminds me of Final Fantasy Awakening, um, where a lot of your VIP benefits are just is basically geared towards allowing you to buy more gold per day and buy more stamina per day, that kind of thing, and then do more arena per day. Um, so nothing, to be honest, nothing super egregious to be, to be, to be honest with you guys. I don't really have a problem with that because eventually you reach a point where trying to top up 22 stamina, like trying to top up your stamina 22 times every single day just becomes even like for a whale, it just becomes too much. So these stage resets don't really bother me too much. Um, but you do get like little bonus gear every time you hit a certain VIP amount. So that is a thing. So if that bothers you, absolutely. And it looks like this guy right here, which is probably a fan favorite character. Oh, look at that SSR, red. Um, but yeah, even VIP 14, all it is is you can buy more stamina, you can buy more gold, you can do more arena, and then buy more plunder points. So like I said, I don't know if that's that big of a deal. Um, yeah, so that will do it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tokyo Ghoul. My name is FG3000. Overall, I did enjoy my time with this game. Um, like I said, please leave me a comment in the comment section below if you recommend this anime. Um, maybe I'll pick it up. Oh, look, we got a couple of free draws. Let's do a free draw real quick. Some Jack Daniels there. How did you get Jack Daniels in this game? <laughs> That's like literally Jack Daniels. They didn't pay for that spot. <laughs> I assume these guys have the license to do this game because it's Game Samba and they do have the license for Fairy Tales. So I would assume they have the license to do this as well. I don't think this is an unofficial game, but I didn't, I didn't really even think about that. So that's that. All right, guys, I'm done. Once again, my name is FG3000. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next video. Later.